Hey guys, welcome back, and today I'm going to talk about how staying on YouTube longer actually grows your channel. And here's the crazy part, you can actually earn more money with the same amount of views. For the simple reason being, you're there for a long time. Let's jump into this video. So as you guys know, when to grow a channel, you have to be on your channel for a long time. Three or four weeks, that's not a long time to grow your channel. So you can't just quit right there. And staying longer on your channel works for a few different reasons. Yeah, exactly, bro. I posted this video a year ago, and then I'm gonna see what happens. No, bro. Obviously, you have to upload videos, too. Oh, yeah, don't worry. I'm gonna still stay on YouTube, even for five years without posting videos. Guys, don't listen to him. Let's just come back to the video. Obviously, you have to upload videos regularly, too. And posting two or three videos on your channel just to wait for, like, a miracle to happen is definitely not gonna help you grow your channel. Okay, so just quickly, today I'm gonna actually do three channels. I'm going to give a shout out to two channels right now because they donated in the super chat yesterday, so I appreciate it very much. The first person that donated is Noah MTB. Thank you so much for donating. Really appreciate it and shout out to you. And the second person that donated in my premiere yesterday was CJ's Gaming World. Thank you so much and I appreciate it and shout out to you, CJ's Gaming World. You both were awesome. I didn't actually expect that. And the notification shout out goes to Lunomers YT. Good job on being first and shout out to you. But when you post videos over time, you learn from your videos and you get to know your audience. Like what kind of videos they like or what, what keeps them from watching the video longer. And what entertains them, what do they say in the comments. But all of that takes a lot of time. Occasionally, it takes a person a few videos to subscribe. But if you only have two or three videos on your channel, then they won't subscribe. And that's because they want to see you make more videos and try to make your videos better. And also, it's going to take a long time to see which videos perform better, which videos they like. And it also takes some time to see all the analytics, like what kind of traffic sources and where did they, which videos did they come from. And what videos brought you the most subscribers on your channel, what videos were recommended the most. These things take a lot of research, but they also take a lot of time. And having your channel for such a short amount of time is not going to give you that much information. Definitely not enough information to see what works on your channel. And even learning how to edit your videos or how to manage your channel, that takes a long time as well. But the good thing is, by posting videos, you're actually learning from those videos to post better videos. And same thing with your channel, if you keep visiting your channel, you're going to see which videos perform better. And for those reasons, many channels grow faster and faster during that journey. And sometimes even multiple times faster compared to the first few months on their channel. And here's the crazy thing. Every week I get almost the same amount of views. And I got the same amount of views for like the last month, two or three. Yes, they jumped up and down a little bit, but usually on the same level. But for some reason, YouTube is putting better ads on my videos. So basically, YouTube knows how to put like effective ads. And now every month on my channel, I'm getting paid more and more. And I'm talking about more per thousand views. I'm not gonna show you how much money I make per month, that's gonna be like in a two months video. Because soon I'm gonna make a video of how much money I get per month in 2020. But I'm just gonna give you a general idea of how much money I make per thousand views. And that's another reason why staying on YouTube longer actually pays off. And just for a reference point, I was monetized January of 2019. So now when I click revenue, first we're going to click lifetime. And as you can see, my CPM is $4, which means that's what YouTube pays me per thousand views for the videos that actually get ads because some videos don't. And of course, you have to deduct the percentage that YouTube takes. But now we're going to go to the second one, which is RPM, revenue per milla, aka revenue per thousand views. And this one is actually accurate. And this is after YouTube takes their piece of pie. And this is actually what I get per thousand views and on my entire channel. So as you can see, the RPM for the last two years is $1.56. For the last 365 days, the RPM is $1.60, just a little bit increase. But for the last 90 days, the, the RPM is $1.93, huge increase. And for the last 28 days, the RPM is even better, $2.21. And guys, look at the views. They're almost exactly the same. Yes, it waves a little bit, but almost the same. But yet, the revenue increases. And for the last seven days, it's even better. The RPM is $2.58. So this is the last 90 days for RPM. And as you can see, it's consistently going up. 
But when you check the views, it pretty much stays the same. So that means they're just giving me better ads because they know my channel better. Because I have my channel for three years, so they know what to expect. And if you really want to grow, make sure to click this video to see the exact method I used to grow. And simply just being on YouTube for a long time and uploading videos without a strategy, that's not going to work. So check the video and follow the steps. Make sure to subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye guys!